This is the SML Podcast. Mr. Deeds. <laughs> very, very sneaky. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we'll get yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah. What's up, everyone? This is Joe. I'm Chris. This is the SML Podcast spooky number ninety? Ooh. We didn't really plan that out well. Not at all. That's that's why we like fought to find people to join the show this week. We don't ever have to fight one of our guests. True. True. To come on, because this is going to be his. I don't know, like fifth or something. He's been on the show this year more than Tim, and Tim used to be <laughs> a member of the show. Yeah. So uh, let's welcome back our unofficial third host, Pappy. Hi, guys. How's it going? And and added bonus, he's using his correct microphone this time. Yes. <laughs> you don't have to <laughs> who yell knew halfway that, through. Yeah. Who and knew then, there were options? And then a special bonus, someone who's new to the show that we may or may not have met at MAGFest, but... We don't remember. We, we I don't know. <laughs> I get a friend request on Facebook, and I'm just like, okay... Sure. So, special fourth guest or member or whatever. Or, whatever. Yeah, what, yeah. Other person, talk, introduce yourself. <laughs> Howdy, Ken. And I think we have met, who knows, everybody's met everybody pretty much at MAGFest at some point in the hallway, I'm pretty sure. But nobody remembers. Nobody yeah. remembers. <laughs> it's a nice. network of friends who wind up friending each other on Facebook and trying to remember where they met each other. Like, oh, you were at... That, that thing, thing. thing. We, like yeah i was totally at this thing did you see uh the one ups yeah so did i oh we totally must have bumped into each other then yeah because because you know lord knows there were only like 18 people in that room oh true <laughs> true it's true yeah with magfest it's either my Cubed. early onset alzheimer's kicking in that i don't remember anybody or it's the alcohol speaking of blame happy it. <laughs> blame it on the owl owl owl, owl. <laughs> alcohol dude pappy i'm so excited i'll actually be able to have somebody else to hang out with that like because i don't really drink <laughs> so yeah you, you and you and tim both seem to be embracing my uh m my new uh reality in a way that kind of makes me happy you know like hey we'll be able to hang out with a drunken retard it'd be fun really you no. were, yeah but you weren't you weren't you weren't like a drunken retard like you, you weren't. Well, <laughs> no, you're you're a normal retard, but the alcohol yeah. had nothing to do with it. Which, by the way, Fair fuck enough. you, because I rarely ever drink at Magfest. You're like, well, at least you and Tim. No, no. What what I mean is that there are people who live this lifestyle. So I, I have kind of guardians. You know what I mean? Like people who can actually be like, hey, here's what you do instead of drinking. Hey, yeah, Pappy, you hang you out know? with us. Hey, Pappy. <laughs> yeah, your mom's a lifestyle. Uh. Nice. Well, yeah, my dad quit drinking just to stay with her. So that, that, yeah. So there <laughs> That's you go. That's the lifestyle. It counts. I will say from a personal <laughs> standpoint, I don't really wind up drinking much at MAGFest unless it's something mixed with something. I, people have said pretty much that Ken doesn't drink for whatever reason, and I wind up just having something small. See, I, I don't know if this is just like, and, and this is actually kind of how I was with, um, cigarettes for a while even though i just kind of i may or may not have bought a pack a couple days ago um but uh yes jordan they're in my pocket um <laughs> she's like can i have one um my main oh you, you're having a gin and tonic and grilled cheese for dinner yes of course you can have a cigarette um <laughs> happy you jealous gin and tonic and grilled cheese anyway um nope so, i hate gin, gin yeah that's yeah that's her kind of kind of jealous about anyway grilled cheese it's, anyway, it's not real cheese. You want? Yeah, I know. It. I know. Um, any, anyway, uh, my whole thing was like the money that I would be spending in getting drinks somewhere or cigarettes somewhere. I could spend that money on something else that would last way longer, like an Xbox One, or yeah, true. you know stuff like that. So, all right, what what are you like? <laughs> I I don't know. You were just like making a face, and I was trying to figure see out if you're wondering doing. why they're bringing up alcohol is that i uh basically came forward on thursday last week said i have a drinking problem and was admitted into a detox for five days 
which I'm very Where proud of you, by the way. Oh, thank you. But admirable, I, admirable. Detox isn't. There's no on-base detox program, so I went to a, a Las Vegas center where it's kind of everybody. Uh, so only three of us checked ourselves in there. Everyone else was there because they either made public suicide threats or was arrested and pop positive. Uh, one guy actually came out of a meth coma. Nice. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And he, uh, he woke up like, why is, am I in here? Well, he kind of knew, yeah. <laughs> Alcohol um, is my only fall back to meth. <laughs> what what was interesting is they were all pretty much nice guys except for uh one one special case. And who was that? <laughs> Mr. D, the four foot eight Vietnamese war veteran, uh with diabetes and dementia. And this oh, is how you kick <laughs> off a Halloween episode. Um so is it fair to say that he's the triple D? Well, he was just it. the double D actually. But. <laughs> well yeah, but his, um, it. it was it, his name was D. Fair enough. God Fair enough. damn it. He had triple D's. Yes. Okay. You win. God but damn yeah, it. some of at, at first he was harmless. Like he was in wheelchair bound when I got there would and he's like, he Hey, was, let me see your shoes. Would you say he was docile? Oh. Uh, yes. Okay. So he was docile. <laughs> he's like, Hey, let me see your shoe. And I'm like, Okay. You know, they're vans. They're nice. You know, they, and they stole my shoelaces because this is, this is apparently, you know, a thing. So I handed it to him, and he just immediately puts it on. He's like, let me see your other shoe. And I'm like, okay, why not? And I just let, you know, everyone's laughing their butt off. I, I, I went and let one of the orderlies know, and they just took a sh- the shoes away like an hour later when he was taking a nap, and then that was that. Hey, Pappy. But then, yeah. Are you giving your microphone a hand job? Should I? <laughs> so, maybe. Because okay, how's this? Just I'm just trying to stay. No, it sounds stay. good. It's just It sounds it's like a, you're it, whacking it off. Yeah, it just sounds like you're... <laughs> manhandling it in really really personal ways which i mean that's cool i mean <laughs> you guys don't put it on the talk we, i love how it just cut out when he said that too. i know <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't put it in your to talk but <laughs> but anus uh no we don't actually oh, well, our, i'm our, doing it wrong then derriere god damn it <laughs> So okay, yeah, Abby, back uh, to your story. <laughs> once he once he started walking, he uh, w- my roommate comes to me laughing his ass off. He's like, "Hey, I just saw Mister D walk into your room and then walk uh, walk into our room and then walk out wearing your socks." And then he walked into someone else's room and put on their uh, LeBrons and started walking around. <laughs> and uh, so we let the order we know. And this really nice, you know, middle aged nurse, she went to get it back from him, and he karate chopped her in the face. <laughs> Wow. Oh dear! Uh, then he decided he's still in a wheelchair. No, no, he started walking. Uh, so oh. you would just hear this, and he had a, a, a bum why leg. He wanted some shoes. <laughs> he had a bum leg from the Vietnam War, so you just heard step drag, step drag up and down the hallway. I was hoping it was a peg, so, so it's coming. like step, <laughs> step, <laughs> step, <laughs> step. Yeah, but he uh, at one point he walked into five different rooms and switched all of their shoes around. Uh, this guy sounds then like he decided, a dick. <laughs> then he decided in the middle of the night to start walking into my room and turning on the light. Like That's three, not cool. Four times. That's diabolical. God damn it, then, Joe. So so I'm thinking like, okay, maybe this old man's confused. So the last time he does it, it's like maybe. three in the morning. And I'm like, hey, just go to bed, Mr. D. And I just hear this evil little Asian laugh like, ha, 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 no. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Just a cackling from down the hall. Now I know that this guy isn't doing it accidentally. He is he is purposely an asshole. Whether it's dementia or not, he is a bad person. It's like, ha ha ha, no. And they quickly became friends. Now Pappy calls him daddy. No. M- Mr. Daddy. <laughs> yeah. No. But yeah, so That's all the D's. Basically, yeah, Mr. D just his goal was to just and because he would actually have flashbacks and he'd start like stabbing the air. And someone was like, what are you doing? And he goes, they killed my people. I am killing them now. I am killing you now. And we're just like, uh, okay, it's a good thing wow. that you're you know, old and, and, and weak because <laughs> that's crazy. So, so seems- Pappy, I think what you need to do is I think you need to talk to Kunal about a Silent Hill-esque game. <laughs> Starring Mr. Starring D. Starring Mr. D. <laughs> what, what was his name? Dang? Mr. Dang? Or... Dong? Oh yeah, Mr. Dong. 
<laughs> but, Dong. But still, ah. yeah. Maybe maybe you should talk to Kunal about putting one of those kind of games together. Pixel Dong. Maybe just being Pixel slowly Dong-war. hunted by an by by an old Asian man with dementia. Yeah. P- Pixel Dong War. But instead of just having a dead leg, he has a peg leg. <laughs> you really want that <laughs> step clack, step clack. Yes, yes, we really do. <laughs> it just gives it that extra edge. Fair enough. So, video games. Video games. Wow. Yeah, horror games, right? Yeah. Hey, that was, was a, a seg- good scary was, story to I, start things nice off. Nice segue. I was, trying, yeah. I was trying to segue. We don't have trying. segues on this show. I try. No. Any, anytime we run to the end of a conversation, we just reboot it with video games. But I do try. I do. Do you? I do. I try a lot. Poorly. Go ahead. Segue this. <laughs> segue. I, we already did. We're on the topic of scary video games. Video games. Yeah. I'm sad. So, since uh, through the convenience of the calendar and our recording schedule, this episode is releasing on Halloween. Unless you're listening to this on Bleeding Cool, then sorry. You fucked up. Subscribe to us on iTunes. (laughs) Truth. Uh, We will kick off our 13th annual Halloween Spectacular by talking about (laughs) horror games. 13th? Yes. Wouldn't this just be our second? No, 13 is an unlucky number. I'm aware. That's why I have it tattooed on me. Cool. Video games. Video games. (laughs) God damn it. (laughs) Um, So, Joe, have you been playing any any, uh, scary games to get yourself in the mood of Halloween? I've actually been playing a handful of Halloween slash scary games. Believe it or not, I've I've had a busy week. Uh... Lords of the Fallen just came out, which is a very Dark Souls ish game. Oh, that's right. The, the Expone. It's not as unforgiving as Dark Souls. Okay, but it's definitely Thank it's definitely the same play style. Mm-hmm. And uh, I played that for about an hour or two. There, there's been a lot coming out, so I'm kind of jumping around. Uh-huh. Uh, Sunset Overdrive, where how, you got to murder zombies that? like crazy. How is it? You would love it. Because so many people are comparing it to like a new generation Tony Hawk or skate game with all the grinding. Wow. That's weird. Like all the it's jumping. It's Tony Hawk right? meets Dead Island or um, Dead Rising meets comedy. No, it's definitely more Dead Island than Dead Rising. <laughs> well, Is it more Dead <laughs> Island customizing and all that huh. fun stuff? Uh, there, there's a lot of customization. There is weapon creating in it. Oh, uh, shit. It is batshit insane. Like near the beginning during the tutorial stuff, a guy's handed an amp, which is like the power ups that you get when you hit certain levels of uh-huh. your energy from doing combos. Sure. The guy's like, Man, I wish I knew what to do with this. If this was a video game, I would probably like hit menu or something, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. And wow. then and then the wow. announcer comes over, he's like, Listen to me. And the guy, what's that? It's like, I'm the announcer, so you can learn shit. Okay. It's just it's insane. I can't wait to play that game. I'm I'm having a blast with it. Yeah. This is I easily. can't play it yet. I don't I don't own a next gen system just yet, but Hey, fifty dollar price drop coming up next November second. Yeah, so Ooh. Sunday. And yeah. what's even what's even better about that, and this is why I'm excited, Steve's honoring it. Really? Yeah. So there's an Xbox One with a connect that's gonna be down in Wilkes Barre for two ninety. Nice. Yeah. I, I'm really, really excited about that. Just be like, Steve, I'm taking this. Be like, Steve, Take it out of my paycheck. Steve, when I start doing runs for you for Black Friday, just take it out of there. Yeah. But yeah, I, I can honestly see why everyone's talking about this game as a system seller. Yeah. Uh, plus, in the vein of Saints Row or Crackdown, there are shitloads of collectibles. Cool. So I, he, he I, does, Joe, you got to mention the first weapon you're handed in the game. The uh, overcompensator. Yes, it is a <laughs> blunderbuss shaped like dick and balls called the overcompensator. Wow. The flaming overcompensator. Oh, you know because, what? Because you shoot things and they explode into flames. Uh, I'm sold on it. Yeah. Wow. And just, you, yes. I tell you what, most games where you have a gun that is shaped like a penis or or references a penis, 
I really enjoy. Or just is a penis. Because <laughs> Or in Dead Rising 3, where you have a gun that just shoots dildos. Right. Or or you've got, in Saints Row, you've got the dildo bat. Or yeah. in Shadows of the Damned, your penis, your penis, your pistol is named... <laughs> Uh, what is it? I think it's like it shoots like. Well, there's the there's the shot that sh- shoots the hot load. Yeah. And then there's the one where like when it when it gets larger, it's called like the like a like a raging boner or something like that. I don't fucking know, but it's yeah, it's all <laughs> it's all dick jokes. But so great. since we're talking about horror games and and you know video dicks games, let's dicks. see into something that's terrible. Yeah. Wow. Segue into hmm. into ugly dicks like you. <laughs> like dick penises. I'm ready. I'm not ready. Happy. <laughs> I think he's got. Uh, I think he. I think he. I think Pappy's jerking off now. Oh, that is terrible. Or maybe he's about to get disconnected. Yeah, he's probably getting disconnected. Either way, I, I've been playing two other horror slash Halloween style games. What would what would uh, those be? They just both came out today for the Xbox One. How to survive which was on previous generation and on PC. Okay. Uh, it's a, you're trapped on an island and you have to learn to survive and you learn by finding these different manuals around. They're pretty much the tutorials. Okay. But it's done in like a campy, over-the-top, um, this is how you learn to do this kind of thing, with like crudely animated and oh, okay. like the old Disney cartoons with like Goofy, how it's like, this is how okay. you ski. Got it. And uh, did he go? I think we lost everybody. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, I think we Fuck lost them everybody. all. Um, this is what ends up happening when you're uh, the person that you're stealing internet off of. Not stealing, because he does know that I have it, or at least know that knows that I'm connected. Um, he found a new streaming service. <laughs> oh no! Um, on his phone, his phone about because he has like a small. Um, he has a small uh he has a small projector that he just picked up that he I'm like so glad that my phone's hooked up directly you know right because that was amazing because that sounded hysterical um but uh do you want to just kill the call and recall everyone back? yeah i might as well um but yeah he has a new um he has a new like projector and he, uh, he has a new like streaming service why can't they just try the call again um can't call a group. Oh, because my internet is completely gone. Nice. Well, that's good. Yeah, it's all gone. Nice. It's gone forever. Gone. That's forever. probably why you don't have any. Yeah, I don't have any on there. Yeah, the internet's down. Nice. That's always good. Yay. Do 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 do. This this is how we fill time when the call dies. Well, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what I can do. Yeah, my internet is gone. But in gone addition though. in addition to uh to how to survive being re-released, which I'm kind of bummed it's 20 bucks, but now wh- it's fun and it's an expanded edition. I don't edition think with I DLC. see I don't think I'm familiar with it like at all. Uh, like I don't even know what it looks like. It's kind of a top-down Diablo style game. Okay. With zombies and a heavier emphasis on melee instead of shooting. Okay. Uh, there's there's lots to manage in terms of like your health, your hunger, your thirst, how tired you are. So, so kind of like almost like a like a rust arm or uh, daisy like all I mean, that I all those kind of like so I can't really compare. Unturned, um, unturned was a lot of fun, and I, I forget if I even like mentioned that on the show before. Uh, I think you did. I think I might have at some point. Yeah, I th- yeah, I think I showed you it before. Um, yeah, there's a lot of games that are kind of adapting to that whole like survival uh, zombie esque kind of thing, but they're adapting it to like other kind of things too, like even just kind of different play styles. Like how you're saying, like almost like is it more like a twin stick shootery kind of controly uh, kind of thing? Or you you can use the the twin stick style to aim around. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's not necessary. Okay. And when you do use the stick, it's kind of more like an aiming thing, so it slows you down. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, Again, it's something I really haven't played too much because I got it just before I came up. Okay. And I Gross. probably put a half hour or so into it, 
And the reason I stopped playing it was because I noticed that also out on Xbox One today, Costume Quest 2. I've never played any of the Costume Quest games. They are adorable RPGs okay. that are Halloween themed. Oh, neat. Like what kind of RPG? Like turn-based RPG. So like a like a older Final Fantasy-esque kind of? Kind of, yeah. Okay. It has a, a more interactive battle system. Uh, I should probably at least call one of them back on Skype. Something. Until yeah. you get internets. Well, I don't I can't guarantee that that'll even come back. No, I know. So any any here? Uh let's call No, oh, I thought I saw something. You there? Yep, I'm still here. Okay. <laughs> uh we might not be able to get Pappy back, but Chris just completely lost all internet. <laughs> it's yeah. gone. So it's gone. Which it's gone is forever. perfect timing when you think about it. Yeah. I don't get it. Me neither. <laughs> Creepy. Eerie. Do we want to plan for another Spooky. night? No, because I had to drive over an hour to get the, up. Yeah, here, this is the so only day we we're oh, just course. doing this. So we called you back. We figured we'd talk to you first. Since oh, we've, that had, works. we've had Pappy on multiple times. <laughs> I'm honored now. Yeah, you should be. God. What was God, your name again? Right. Ken. <laughs> <laughs> he was kidding. I hope. Uh, Maybe. That's right. Hmm. I anyway, we, we at I don't even remember. What were we, where, 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 what were we even talking what about we, before we, what, disaster what, 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 struck what, what, and what, what, all the lights what, went out? I was briefly talking about the horror games I've been playing. Which we continued. Oh, well, yes, we were, yes, yes, yeah. yes. Well, Which while you I were actually gone, played that one you were talking about. What, how to Survive? Yeah, I actually bl- briefly played that on Steam, I think. Probably. But yeah, I, I mentioned that and then Costume Quest 2. But if you've had experience with How to Survive, by all means. I did not get far beyond, say, the first, you know, the first little area that you spawned in. I kind of ran out after. I think it was Xbox. So it was, it was Xbox 360. So it was a brief demo. Uh, I had fun with it, but the problem was I was busy at the time uh, playing a lot of, uh, what the devil was it called? Uh, State of Decay. Nice. Have you ever tried State of Decay? I, I played the demo of it, but I was never sold on spending 20 bucks on it. It's worth it. But it does get redundant once you've explored a lot of it. Yeah, that that honestly, from the brief time I've spent with both games, because go figure, I actually did spend twenty on How to Survive. Hey, oh, but uh, it <laughs> felt like How to Survive was a top-down version of the game, and Correct. State of Decay was like a third-person version of the same game. It pretty much literally is State of Decay. The big thing about State of Decay that I noticed. That was that was the big selling point. I think was the fact that people could literally die in it. I think it randomly generates the survivors. So it's kind of like you come across a person, you get really attached to them. Uh, you don't necessarily take good care of them. It kind of does a little bit. They incorporate a little bit of the Walking Dead kind of mentality where it's drama. Mm -hmm. This guy's getting disgruntled or everybody really like, you know, this sheriff says that this guy's got to be killed. He's been bitten, that kind of thing. And if you don't, you don't play nicey nice with all these people, it kind of does a micromanagement thing. You feel like you're playing Starcraft. Interesting. And then how to survive is definitely more comedy than drama. Yeah. (laughs) It's it's a little too serious, I think. See, I actually really want to try the, um, the walking dead, like the, telltale games yeah um, just because like I, I've, I've heard so many good things about it I, I mean obviously i don't watch the show i don't read the comics i'm not familiar with the storyline so i'd actually be interested to go into it and well, just it has see, nothing like, to do with the comics it or doesn't the show. well i will argue that it does it has a little it's the same world <laughs> but based on characters there's really yeah. no link okay there's so they're completely no, there's different no characters. it's its link. own story it's its own thing huh they run into i think two characters i think i think two characters briefly appear in the episodes more like cameo appearances than anything significant got it that's about it honestly you can stand alone the the second season was fantastic and joe it sounds like you've played them uh i've played half of season one <laughs> and it was because Ooh, i'm gonna I watched, watch any spoilers then it's because i watched pappy play it 
Well, there you go. Ah, Just, I'm not huge on like the the adventure style gameplay. I keep telling myself I'm going to finish this. I'm going to finish this, and then <laughs> I see a butterfly or something. <clears throat> and get distracted. Butterfly. Butterfly. Um, it's true. It's it, it's true. And it's funny true. enough, I have bought season one of The Walking Dead on like four different platforms. <laughs> what the Whoa. Fuck? Okay, that's dedication. Okay, maybe not four, but I've. I've bought the whole Three. season on Xbox, and then I bought it. PlayStation had like all of season one on sale for two fifty. Oh, like, it's can't beat that. I, it, yeah, you can't beat I'll that. I'll get to it eventually, right? Yeah, it's two fifty. Yeah. I'll buy it. Haven't touched it. <laughs> uh, and I forget if it was cross buy or if it was also on sale, but I have it on the Vita as well. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I could see that. I'm slowly buying games here and there on the Vita. Now that, you know, when they go on sale, I think I bought both Castlevania, I think Dracula X and Symphony of the Night last night, nice. just for the heck of it. They had them on discount for Halloween. So Which, speaking of... Symphony of the Night is in Dracula X. But or it's Symphony a different X Chronicles. version. I wanted the one... I also wanted the PlayStation 1 one just for the cheesy voice acting. True. I'll give you that. <laughs> I wanted to hear the miserable pile of secrets line. Yes. <laughs> um, now, speaking of games that were on sale recently, and I, I don't know if you can confirm this for me, Joe, but I guess it's going to be on sale for a little while now because I don't think the price has changed. But on Xbox 360, there is a version of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas that popped up for the anniversary. Mm, yep, the remastered. It's they pretty much ported over the mobile version. Go figure. Mm -hmm. But they took. Oh, the, is that it? Yeah, they took the quote unquote HD remastered mobile version of San Andreas, ported it over to 360, added achievements, better draw distance, blah blah blah. Uh, supposed to be fifteen bucks, but as a tenth or fifteenth or tenth anniversary sale, whichever. It's got to it be tenth. Whatever it is, uh, you can get it until I think I said November tenth for a whopping three dollars and seventy four cents. Nice. I, I actually bought that because you had written about it. Yep, seventy five percent off. <laughs> yeah, that's that's awesome. It was my favorite Grand Theft Auto. As soon as I saw that, I was like, I need it. I went and got a uh, Xbox card, which took forever to redeem on my system because I don't know what's up with the. Um, I have one of the, the the older Xboxes that I had to get mm -hmm. the USB um, network adapter for, yeah. um, and god mm. damn is it slow. I don't oh, know. Oh, that's what mine is, yeah. That and your internet's dead, too. So. Well, yeah, that too. So, Thanks, Pickles. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know why. It could, I, I don't know, it might be his router. He's streaming too so. much porn over there. Could be. <laughs> I will say I tied my uh, I tied my PayPal account to my Xbox, and it does wind up saving you a little bit on the nickels and dimes on the games a little bit in the long run. See, now the funny thing is, I assumed that they were going to charge me tax, but they didn't. Nice. Yeah. Did you? Get I will a, say though, a point card or like the actual? Money no, I got card? the money card. What do you have mm. as your billing address? I don't know. Because I, I know I used to get charged tax on everything on Xbox until I switched my billing address to like somewhere in Delaware where there's no sales tax. I don't even think I have a billing address set. That might be it then. That's probably why. We can't charge you tax if you don't have a billing address. I've never yeah. actually looked at this. I never put a credit card on file. Now I'm kind of wondering. Yeah, I did the same with Nintendo. They don't charge tax if you put your billing zip code as Delaware or... I think Alaska works. There's like four states that don't have sales. I shouldn't be saying this on the air. <laughs> <laughs> Tax fraud live on the SML podcast. Woo, this woo. is a joke, my of course. I've, I've, paid my tax. I've paid all my taxes. Swear to God. Hey, they can come after me. They ain't, ain't going to get shit. So True. <laughs> I mean, whatever. Here, have a guitar. <laughs> Bye. Well, fuck, Sony doesn't charge tax on their store, so fuck them. Kind of gum? I think uh, states. What kind of gum? Uh, Cineburst. Fuck them. <laughs> I miss Cineburst. Cineburst. You know what? Actually, I had. Uh, speaking of gum, <laughs> slight slight tangent. Speaking of gum, the other day I had uh, Strides Sour Patch gum. Oh God! It was great. It was almost. It was almost like fruit stripes that didn't lose its flavor after about five seconds. 
Oh, come Ooh. on. It lasts about 30 seconds. No. Don't shortchange Fruit Stripe. No. That zebra's done me good over the years. No. I'm still shocked they're making him. <laughs> True. Dude, the, the fact that Fruit Stripe even exists still... Is a miracle. It is really a is. miracle. Not to mention the fact that I, I did have a really terrible idea of buying a pack of Fruit Stripes in the first one that I pulled out that had like the 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 crappy tattoos on them getting getting one of them done. Wait, do they still put the tattoos in them? Yeah. And you oh, wow. got a tattoo. No, I was thinking about it, but I oh. didn't. But oh, I'm still wow. kind of thinking about it. <laughs> I am. I'm still kind of thinking about it. Video games. Slight tangent. <laughs> Fruit Stripe had a game, right? No, I don't think so. On on like Candy Stand or something. On online. I don't web browser based. I don't play browser games. I don't know. You browser. Went to, what is this you, browser right, games right, you on. speak I'm gonna, of? I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick throwback. So you never went to candystand.com? Never in my life. I don't even What the heck is candy stand? What do my mind is being <laughs> blown right Chris, now? Chris, how old are you? Twenty five. How old am I? I don't care. Thirty three. <laughs> <laughs> So while you were in eighth grade playing on Candy Stand, I was a big boy downloading Metallica on Kazaa. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> Listen, I was doing the exact same stuff and playing on Candy Stand while I was doing it. You fucking loser. So Candy Stand, all right, Candy Stand was this website that you go to that was um, that was sponsored by like lifesavers and like all these like different candies and gums and stuff like that. That doesn't and shock they were me. flash they were flash games that were just like that essentially just had product placement of all of these things but the games were awesome like they were great they had this like browser based like mini golf one that was the one that most people played there was that one there was uh there was a bowling one um there was like ski ball and and like the basketball like a bunch of like arcadey like you know whatever but they were a blast they were so good and if you acquired like so it was kind of like had a it had a pogo vibe to it where like the more and more that you played it you would acquire like tickets and you can use those tickets to attempt to win like sweepstakes and stuff like that i swear like wow. like really you guys never no i never? played gorillas never. on never. ms Gorilla. i think Which? i really i think candy stand still exists i'm pretty sure so this is like the website precursor to like Burger King's Sneak King on Xbox 360. That's exactly what it was. This really is a scary episode that I'm hearing you talk about this. Dude, I, like I can't be the only person that remembers I, any All right. Email the SML podcast at gmail.com <laughs> if you know about Candy Stand because I want to know that somebody else knows about Candy Stand other than me. Please. Please. Damn. Hmm. Please, somebody email me so I don't feel like I'm the only so one. So alone. Yeah. This show took a very depressing turn. Candy stand. It's it's like daddy just hit mommy kind of awkward right now. Somebody you, help me remember my memories. Dude, like I just I I seriously <laughs> blowing my mind that out of both of you guys, you don't know what I'm talking about. It's seriously I'm, I'm thirty four, so I'm actually older than Joe, so <laughs> I'm baffled. I was playing Goldeneye and losing my virginity, son. <laughs> <laughs> I'm baffled. <laughs> baffled. Now I really want to go on. Can I want to see if Candy Stand still exists? I would love to, but my internet's down. Yeah. Um. So that's still game. It? That's still Maybe. game related. So I, I nope. That's still game related. So you don't get to say it. So so Ken, since this is our <laughs> Halloween episode, what kind of yeah. uh, good horror slash Halloween games have you? played in your lifetime i was gonna hope you didn't say lately because obviously lately it's been things like smash but yeah buddy <laughs> defense yeah. sake ah uh, well Which, speaking of smash <laughs> pre-orders make sure you get them in so you can get your mewtwo and your soundtracks yeah well that would imply that i actually also have a wii u which is kind of another lack i do not have yet i already have my pre-order paid off <laughs> <laughs> I may get it with Smash, but that's that's another story. You should. It's gonna absolutely be a system seller. I mark my words. I don't know how how it wouldn't be. Anywho, yeah, that's true. Smash. No, I uh, hmm, I'm trying to think of favorites because I've got like a small mountain. Let's put it that way in the archives. But <laughs> I'm yeah. trying to think of good ones, crap ones. I guess the most recent one I played is Outlast, which nice. you know, my God. 
That is, uh, I gotta say, that is actually one of the scariest ones I've played in a long time. I've actually been quite happy. I picked it up on Steam. It did not make my PC whine uh, <laughs> running it, surprisingly, because the graphics are actually really top-notch, and it's uh, a journalist who winds up trapped in, uh, if I recall correctly, it's I finished it, too, and I should know this, because it was just like two months ago I played it, I think. And it was kind of an insane asylum kind of thing. Has supernatural elements, that type of thing, but it's an FPS kind of like run for your life kind of game. No yeah. real combat per se. And those are, I think, the best. Yeah, Kunal came to visit me and we played that. And oh, it was a yeah. contest of like who would shit their pants first. Uh huh. And the DLC just came out. We both lost, by the way. You both shit your pants? Yeah. Same oh, time. Yeah. We held hands and everything. I remember coming over and Kunal was in his pajamas still. It was funny. <laughs> I miss Kunal. You have to play that in the dark. I will say, you have to play oh. this in the dark. Oh, we did. That's why That's why we pooped together. Ah, poop, okay. Poop together. Poop, poop to boop. Poop together. Uh, oh, man. Has it, anybody played, uh, has anybody honestly gone on and taken the, every, every, every YouTuber Let's Player seems to be doing this, the stereotypical Five Nights at Freddy's thing? I won't do it. I never even heard about that game until you guys were telling me on the one episode. <laughs> Dude, Five Nights at Freddy's, I'm familiar with it. I know what it is. I know what the premise of the game is. I will not touch it with a 10-foot pole. I just, I don't play PC games, so. It's not hardly a game. That's the funny part. Yeah. It strikes me more as like a, this could have been done in like Shockwave Flash on a website kind of thing. <laughs> like Candy Stand? <laughs> yeah, which by the way, I have it up in the background here. It does exist. It still exists, dude. I, mean, I can't wait yes. to get my internet back and Play hop on games candy stand. and win prizes, quote unquote. All right, fire up the mini golf game. Oh, you can win a GameStop gift card, apparently. Nice. See, candy stand all the way. Oh, my candy Lord. stand featuring Five Nights at Freddy's. Dude, that'd Ooh, be the funniest thing Five ever. <laughs> that would be the funniest thing ever. Ever. Yeah, I I, uh, I tried Five Nights at Freddy's. I did not really make it beyond the second night because the game is nothing but Twitch kind of action. It's just keep checking a bunch of cameras, keep checking the doors, and hope you're quick enough to click the button really fast before the monster, the animatronic, you know, Chuck E. Cheese kind of uh, thing jumps out at you. I, I can say full well that if I because I have to I have to play a show on Halloween, if I see <laughs> someone in a fi any kind of person with a Five Nights at Freddy's like Halloween costume, <laughs> I'd poop. Like I would so just like while drumming wail on some poor guy wearing like a, a teddy bear costume. You look like the animatronic guy in Five Nights at Freddy's. Bam! Uh, he'll dude, be drumming. The eyes will meet up, and he'll just get the fuck out, dude. Get I'll just I'll, I'll freak out like really bad. <laughs> I mean, like it's uh, Mike. I'm I'm semi excited for my costume, but I'm not at the same time just because um my my penis is non-existent in it. Um. <laughs> Because I am, That's I'm going not where as, I expected things to go. I'm, I'm oh. going as, um, <laughs> I'm going as Mermaid Man, and my fiance is going as Barnacle Boy. Um, oh, Jesus. Ow. So now I've got like tidy, like tidy whiteies, and then like green leggings, and then another pair of black tidy whiteies on top of it to make it look like the, and yeah, but it's. Are just, you gonna crying game this and just tuck it between? I can't. It just, it literally, like, once I start putting everything on, it literally, like, it just, it, it just disappears. It's just, like, it's just, it's gone. Wow. It's, it's inverted. <laughs> it's gone. God damn it. But yeah. I am not getting the opportunity to go to any kind of costume parties. In fact, I actually missed one this past weekend with work. My fiance got to go as a witch. I didn't really have a costume, but I have come up with something I plan on probably wearing at next MAGFest. That would have passed as a costume, which is it's been my side project, actually. And this is the first time I have mentioned this to anyone, but uh, I have breaking actually news. Exclusive. breaking news exclusive. This is breaking news. New challenger incoming. The uh, no, the uh, I have purchased and spent time repairing an old 80s style silver metallic Atari jacket, complete with the patches and everything. Oh, damn. Oh, dear. So I actually have reconstructed one from a new silver metallic jacket with all the original patches and stitching. 
It's been my side pet project. Hodor. Just for the hell of it. See, Chris, <laughs> in our day, when you did good at a video game, you would take a picture and send it to Atari, and they would mail you a patch. Why don't they do that right. anymore? I want to do that with Nintendo. Because Nintendo. Actually, that would be a bad thing. Yeah, Nintendo, you should reinstate that. Because I know you're listening. Uh, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, Reggie. You hey, directly. Hey, Reggie. Weird. Speaking of, actually, I'm going to have to bring this up quickly, too. I was two puzzle pieces away from fucking finishing my puzzles. When the new one came out. And then out. they put out another panel, and I fucking raged hard. <laughs> like, ah. I was fucking furious. Like, I literally, like, started throwing a tantrum, like, in the store. <laughs> I oh. haven't even come close. How do people get friend passes without going to Mag like Fest? a MAGFest? <laughs> Other than that, though, I get nothing the rest of the year than like 400, 500 things. Then nothing again. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's basically how it works. That's life. <laughs> yep. all, of, all of my street passes were from MAGFest. Two of them. Two MAGFests, and I got like all my puzzle pieces. Yep. That's what you got to wow. do. Check I even take the 3DS with me to minutes. the airport. I'll I be, get 10. I I never leave home without my 3DS anymore because I wanted to finish my puzzle pieces. I'm surprised. I've actually been getting a decent number. <laughs> like when I go to Best Buy, go to Best Buy, go home, I have like seven new ones. Huh. So I don't know if that whole thing where street passes, like the street pass locations keep other street passes and pass them around. The spot pass? That's yeah. what I yeah. heard. I don't actually. know if that's actually working like it's supposed to or just that many people at Best Buy own I think it's I think it's the whole spot pass thing. Maybe. I'm pretty sure. It's well, the spot I pass hope thing. it is. I've hit this like three of the same people multiple times. Yeah. So they mm. might actually work at Best Buy. It's possible. I don't know. But they, anyway, that those they same know my name there now. The same time you do. <laughs> do they? Yeah. Hello, Joe. How are you? Like the the one guy at customer service, Tom. Like every time I go, he's like, "What are you getting today?" <laughs> That's funny. Oh wow. dear! So thanks twenty percent off at Best Buy. That's what you get. So Hell Joe, yeah. what what are some of your favorite? Like I'm gonna all right. I'm gonna generalize it to either scary survival horror or Halloween ish ish mm. games because you know I have no survival horror or any games you like could, that. You could just of. repeat your Mortal Kombat story. Well, I'll, we'll get what? to that. We'll get to that. Uh. I've never been huge into the survival horror games. Like, I'm someone who would love to sit and watch someone play them. Uh -huh. I, I wouldn't go as far to, like, fire up a Let's Play because that takes, like, some of the feeling out of it. Out yeah. Of it. Uh, I remember the one time I went to, to Arkansas, I was supposed to spend a night with Dale and just marathon the Silent Hill games, but things oh, got oh, busy. Oh, God. Things got busy, and we just played The Room for, like, two hours or something oh my god but uh my own personal favorite uh resident evil 4 i really? i wasn't Four. sold on the resident evil games for a long time just because i wasn't a fan of how they played uh my brother and i played the very first resident evil back on og playstation before they had rumble and everything yeah, yeah, yeah. represent og and uh, we got as far as that plant boss in the basement, was it? Uh, yeah, I think once you finally get down to the lab and everything. Yeah, that's as far as I remember he and I playing before we stopped. Uh, and I kind of just gave up on Resident Evil since then. Ah. I, I tried Resident Evil 2. I was going to say, I, you have to play the best one. It's 2. I, I died near immediately. <laughs> like in, oh. the, in the alley, when you start up, those zombies killed me. Wow. You know, I vaguely remember something like that happening to me as well. Like when I was You're younger. You're not supposed like, to fight them. Oh, well, I didn't know that when I was that young at the time. For yeah, the I record, was just like, run. No, I, I know now, but I just, I've never cared to go back and try again. Yeah. But uh, Resident Evil 4 came out and I just, I had zero interest in it. And my friend at EB, I missed that story. EB. Yeah. Uh, that's when they were giving uh. out the Resident Evil 4 demo discs. And he gave me one. He's like, here, try it. You might like it sometime. Uh, and the one night I was <laughs> playing Final Fantasy XI, and I had to wait an hour real time so I could feed my Chocobo again to get my Chocobo license. <laughs> Swear to God, real story. Uh, so I had to okay. kill an hour, and I figured, you know what? Maybe I'll try this Resident Evil game. Uh, I played the demo until like right before I got to the village the first time. And I, w I already pre-ordered it and came back 
and continued the game. I just went online, bought it online, uh, the GameStop special edition with the metal case and everything. And I'm be- shocked. Before I even fit, well, no, <laughs> I wasn't. A, I wasn't a big collector edition whore back then because there weren't collector editions every other week. Yeah, that's true. But I, I figured, man, this game is amazing. I might as well spend the ten bucks more to get a, an art thing and a bonus DVD and why not a cool metal case? Right. Uh, but yeah, did you but, ever get the bloody chainsaw controller? I have both of them. Oh Game, wow! GameCube and Wait, PS2. Two? GameCube and PS2. Oh, yep. I actually did not know that. Uh, at one point, I owned the game and its special edition, if available, on every platform it's been on. Until it was oh, wow. released digitally, I've never bought it on PS3. Hmm. But I had the GameCube one. I also, for the hell of it, I found it at a yard sale for a dollar. I had the collector edition and just the standard game. Which made no sense because the standard game was in the collector's edition. In the collector's edition, edition yeah. Uh, I had the demo CD or the demo disc. I had uh, some special behind the scenes DVD that was a GameStop only thing. Uh, I picked up the PS2 version and the collector edition. Uh, the Wii version, I have it on 360. Never got it on PS3, though. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I even had a PC copy, believe it or not. I'm shocked. Never played it. Just had it. <laughs> Again, shocked. I am so wow. pissed that I don't have my PS2 special edition anymore. I think I still have that one in my... Yeah, I think I still have that one on the shelves in the basement. Yeah. I will say, you aren't doing yourself justice if you don't try... Well, you've skipped two, but I will say, if you, enjoy, if, if you can handle that type of gunplay... Play Outbreak. Try the Outbreak games. I, I don't. Aren't those like completely offline now? Uh yeah. Oh yeah. The servers were discontinued a long time ago. And it's a multiplayer heavy quote, game. Quote so just, it was kind of meant to be multiplayer, but your assistants, the AI assistants, are well, they're kind of dumb, frankly. But <laughs> but the game itself is actually still really fun because it's set during the good times of the old like the the you know T virus and everything. Yeah. yeah. I might look I into really it. I know that. I know Shale Riley loved the Outbreak games. They were they were some of my favorites and I didn't I never played them online. I played precious few PS2 games online and yeah, I picked them up after the shutdown. Yeah. Maybe I'll look And if into you want to punish yourself you could try Operation Raccoon City if you'd like to punish yourself. No, I actually picked that up. <laughs> I found it for four ninety nine. Same here. <laughs> with uh, and I actually had the metal case with it. it yep. Didn't, it didn't have the slip cover anymore. It didn't have the patches, which I was bummed about. But it was five bucks. So five what the fuck ever. Bucks. Five da. Can't I liked, I liked Resident Evil 5. I'm one of the few people that actually liked Resident Evil 5. I well, never played 6, bad. though. I, Same here. I don't know shit about I've, shit. I've heard too much bad about 6, and I just never tried it. Zombies you mean, you mean the guns. elephant getting a blowjob? Or, or the giraffe? giraffe? Yeah, giraffe blowjob. Wow, I haven't even seen that one. Okay. Just the 6 on the cover. Google Google the, the art for Resident Evil 6. It's oh, a, you know what? I'm getting a mental picture of the cover in my... Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's, it's a giraffe getting blown. Yeah. Oh, God. I never saw it that way. Wow. Yeah. Really? Dude, that's the first I thing never I saw actually- when I saw the cover. <laughs> first time I saw that number six, I'm like, something's getting blown. And then I saw online, huh, it's a giraffe. I'm like, yeah, it's a giraffe getting blown. Yep, that's exactly what it Holding is. Holding the girl's head and everything with the top of the six. Wow. It's great. It's wonderful. Yeah. So what about you, Chris? Well... What's your favorite nope experience? All right. So this isn't my favorite nope experience, but it's probably the most noteworthy. Um, So Mortal Kombat, the newest one that's been released, um, obviously, you know, it's it's a gory game. So, I mean, it can lend itself to Halloween-esque and the... uh, there was a DLC character of Freddy Krueger, which obviously... Yeah, that's right. I remember that. Obviously, Halloween-related. Um, uh, so, Mortal Kombat got it when it came out. 
fucking loved it. Absolutely, absolutely loved it. Um, it was one of my favorite Mortal Kombat's to come out in a long fucking time. Um, the storyline was really, really cool because it forced you to play as all the different characters. If you haven't played it by now and you like fighting games in the least bit or at least just want to have a fighting game in your collection, I highly recommend it. Um, Agreed. If you Agreed. like fighting games and you haven't played it, you don't <clears throat> like fighting games. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so anyway, so I, I, you know, I've always been a huge Mortal Kombat fan. That was my favorite fighting game series for the longest time. I picked it up, started playing it, blah, 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 whatever. In this version of Mortal Kombat and in some of the previous versions of Mortal Kombat, to unlock... Um, the, you know, like special art or alternate costumes or like, you know, all the, all the behind the scenes shit and, and, and unlockable stuff, you had to go in this thing called the crypt. So Mm -hmm. in the crypt, you essentially use the coins that you get by, you know, completing, um, you know, things in the tower or just exhibition matches, whatever. I wish I remembered what episode you originally told this on, just so I could be like, hey, this is a rerun from episode blah, blah. Yeah, I think it was 80-something. <laughs> don't forget. 80-something. Don't forget, this is crypt with a K and coins with a K. Everything's, yeah, everything's with a K. Combat crypt coins. Combat crypt coins. Anyway, so you you go in the crypt, um, and you have to use your coins to unlock the stuff that are in the things. Now, because I enjoyed this game so much, I'm like, I'm going to unlock everything in the crypt. Like, I'm just going to keep playing it until I get enough coins to, to buy everything that's in the crypt. At one point, I was going through the crypt and just spending all the coins that I had, and I was just going from thing to thing to thing to thing to thing and just unlocking every single one of them that I possibly could. And this thing, I don't know what it is. I don't know why they put it in. But there is this thing at a certain point of the map. We'll call it the crazy crypt keeper. Yeah, I or crazy uh, crypt, crypt creature. Crypt mo- cri- the crypt creature as monster, long as it's whatever. K's really, that's what we're getting. At. Uh, well, fuck, fucking racist. <laughs> anyway, um, so at at a certain point in the map, when you go over it, there's this thing that pops up. And it's like, if you've ever seen like those videos online where like a guy's like looking at the, the screen for a while and then this thing just fucking pops up and then they just like shit their pants and break the screen or whatever. Like, oh, the scary maze. Yes. Just jump scares. It's exactly like that. <laughs> like exactly like that. I had a mini heart attack. Like I have a phobia of jump scares. Like they actually like they really like they really affect me like bad. Like I like I'll have panic attacks. I'll like I won't be able to function. Like I will just I will lose my shit. So Chris is the target audience for jump scares. Five Nights at Freddy's is not your game. Definitely. No. Um, (laughs) So so this happened and I had no idea to expect it because it was a newer game nobody had known that this is a thing or at least it wasn't like you know it wasn't researched it wasn't like you know it wasn't released that this was a thing so this happened and i once i regained my composure because i was playing in the dark and had no idea that this was going to be happening so once i regained my composure I got up, I walked to my Xbox, I ejected the disc, put it in the case, and promptly got rid of it the next day. (laughs) Wow. Because I could, like, I, like, I'm even just like, like, just thinking back to it and just the way that I've, like, I'm, I'm, I feel like shit, like, right now, because I can feel exactly like how it was going through that and the, the problems that I had because of it happening. Um, now, this funny, is the makings of a creepy pasta. So now, now the funny thing about that is, um, I'm at the store. I work at a video game store. I'm at the store today, and and I'm looking at I'm I'm just looking at what we have, and I'm like, you know, I kind of want something to play once I'm done with Borderlands because that's I'm pretty much done with it. I'm really really close, and um and I'm looking on the shelf and I see the Mortal Kombat Complete Edition, and I'm like, I never finished it. And now the whole thing is, now I have a different Xbox, so I don't even have my save file anymore, so I have to start from the beginning again. 
but I grabbed it and I'm going to attempt to go through it and I'm going to attempt to complete the crypt again. However, anytime that I have to go into the crypt, I'm going to have my fiance <laughs> do it for me. Every time you go into the crypt, you have to have a camera set up recording. No, you. no. I'm going to have Jordan. <laughs> I'm going to have Jordan do it for me because I, I want to finish because the game down. is so good. The Pussy. game is so good. Pussy. And I just I can't. Freddy, it's you. Oh, uh, dude, I just can't. Uh, I can't do it. I can't like like you don't even I the story does not give justice to how terribly that affected me. Like it, it affected you so bad. I remember the the last episode you talked about this on was right around E3 because after the episode no, during the episode we actually pulled up the video so we could figure out what it was. You wouldn't look at the screen and you plugged oh. your ears. Yeah. I had to like continue to like I had I had to try and continue the conversation and get my mind off of the fact that it was even like happening in the same room yeah. as me. Like everybody else is laughing our ass off and you're just just talking and talking and ignoring the world yeah. so that you wouldn't have to experience that again. It was fucking awful. It was terrible and Ed Boon, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> Because then, the fact that that's even in the game, you should feel fucking terrible. And then after the episode, we were watching uh, streams of PT, which just came out that week. Which again, uh, you just, refuse to I watch. Refu- uh, yep, I you're essentially just looking, you're but... back away from the TV. Yep, yep. Speaking and... of PT, if you're looking for something kind of creepy to play on the Xbox One, uh, grab hmm. a free download of Project Spark. And look in the community games for a game called RT. Someone pretty much used the Project Spark engine and recreated PT in it. A couple of twists <laughs> and tweaks here and there. It is amazing. I, I'm blown away that someone could do something so well done in Project Spark. Like, there's a lot of really good creations out there, but just how damn near accurate it is to PT. Aesthetics aside, obviously, because instead of realistic graphics, it's more kind of cartoonish. But it is hmm. so well done. If if you have no. an Xbox One or even PC, because Project Spark is on PC, just grab Project Spark and look for RT and just give it a go. It's awesome. Hmm. Now, if I recall right, PT is basically a teaser demo slash whatever for the next Silent Hill game, though, Correct. right? Yeah, playable okay. teaser, PT. Everybody always confuses the devil out of me mentioning PT, and then I, oh, okay, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Silent Hill playable teaser. Yeah, it's Silent Hills with Daryl Dixon. Yeah. I can live with that. Um, I've now, see, I, I watch The Walking Dead and everything, and my fiance reads all the comics, you know, so yeah. Yeah, oh, that, Ashley and I have to watch Walking Dead every Sunday. Oh, yeah. Unless the Steelers are on, then she watches it upstairs and I watch football. <laughs> God damn it. Um, so aside from, aside from that, um, Splatterhouse. I actually really love the Splatterhouse games. Yeah, um, see, does that count as survival horror? Now, I've been debating that one. It's not survival it's horror, but it's, it's spooky. horror action. It's Right, like a Castlevania or Ghouls and Ghosts. Right, yeah. right. See, so I, I, I mean, would I, consider those appropriate for I this count discussion. It. I count it. So Splatterhouse, and, and now the first Splatterhouse game that I actually played was like an, old, like a, an older Genesis one. Um, I think it was Genesis. Fucking old school. Yeah, I think the Genesis. first ones were for Genesis, yeah. yeah. Um. And the only reason why I picked it up is because I was like, oh, this guy looks like Jason. Like, that should be cool. You get to run around and fucking kill guys. Like, this would be awesome. Um, and then once I actually started, like, realizing, like, what the fuck was going on in the game, I was like, wow, this is fucking weird. Like, <laughs> like this is creepy. Um, but, yeah, so so the Splatterhouse games are always a, um, a favorite of mine. Um, I, I think other than that, there's not really – I mean – I will say this, Majora's Mask. That was creepy for a Zelda game. That was mm. fucking weird. I still have not played Majora's Mask. It's awesome. It like uh, there were times in Majora's Mask that I had to actually like stop playing it. That fucking moon will give people nightmares. Yeah, dude. For real. Like I remember trying to play that at first cuz I I mean like like I was having some some pretty rough anxiety with that game too and that that like even though it's not a survival horror, it's not like 
made to be a scary game. Like there were really fucking creepy parts with it. That's like, the closest Zelda will get to survival mm, horror. Probably, man. <laughs> Even because they're like you need to get the shit done in three days or or humanity is destroyed. Yeah. That's everyone some heavy dies. Shit. Hey, everyone everybody dies. dies because of you. Good job, dick. Good job, good job asshole. <laughs> But Ken, you had other stuff to talk about, didn't you? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm just trying to think. Probably best survival horror. Well, what's, I got to give props scariest? to a couple obscure ones. I got to give props to a couple obscure ones that people don't play here. Okay, you know, and of course, everybody had an opinion on this. Heck, my Silent my fiance was saying Last Half of Darkness, which was an old PC game. I hadn't even heard of that, for example. Oh. Didn't really play it, but oh. a lot of the ones I've played, like I actually played the Blair Witch Project trilogy on PC. Ooh, there was nobody's a game? played those. <laughs> there was three of them, actually. What about, uh, wow. would this, I don't know if this would get, but like Phantasmagoria? Probably. I never played that. I had a copy of it, and I know, like, I think like I sat and tried playing through it with like my one friend that I used to play PC games with Oh, all come the time. on, you played it for the live action <laughs> sex scenes. No. There were live action sex scenes? Yeah. Yes, yes. There wow, were. I really missed a lot. FMV sex scenes. Yeah. Like not explicit. It was Skinamax shit. Pretty much, yeah. That's why the game came on seven CDs. The <laughs> came wow. on seven uh, CDs. Uh, uh, what other obscure ones, Ken? But yeah, uh, yeah, like I say, I highly recommend the Blair Witch Project. They were very creepy and they fit right into the mythos. They used the Nocturne engine back in the day on PC. Huh. Which was really neat, actually. And very few people played that. Sanitarium. That, and I that think sounds it's vaguely out on familiar. Steam. It's a good Metallica song. <laughs> <laughs> I will <laughs> say, that's when I downloaded it off Kazaa while you were still playing your Candyland. Give me beer. <laughs> Serial men used Napster him. before they went commercial. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I miss Napster. Just leave I me alone. I, I got this really uh-huh. cool Legend of Zelda song off Napster by System of a Down. <laughs> Everything I ever got off Napster was in a college computer hard drive that I still have in a box somewhere that got scratched up and will not read. Uh, I can only imagine what like that, you know, 15, 20 years ago me was listening gold to. on there. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, uh, yeah, Sanitarium is fantastic, but it's point and click. So if you can handle the whole, you know, click here to move your guy there kind of thing and uncover a really weird mystery where you wake up in a sanitarium, Google the opening music. It will. It's one of those eerie, it sets you in the mood kind of musics. I tell you what, there was a game that was similar to that type of style called Mist that ah. drove me up a fucking wall because <laughs> it was the only quote unquote game that I had for my first computer because it was a Macintosh. It was that and fucking... Uh, Oh my god, what the fuck was the name of it? They actually just released it on Steam not too long ago. Uh, oh fuck, what the Steam. hell is the name of it? Uh I'll think of it. I'll think of it. <laughs> I'll ref I'll reference it some other time. I'm thinking I gotta give pro yeah, and I think it's on good old games is Clive Barker's Undying. Hmm. Nobody ever plays it, but it is a fantastic FPS sort of horror game. You know, you get you get mist. It's a combination. The usual, you get mystic powers alongside traditional weapons. You're summoned to an old friend's mansion. He explains about his five family members, how they all basically want to kill him, and they've all got supernatural, you know, abilities that type of thing. So you're running through this mansion, you know, lightning, thunderstorms, things in the mirror behind you, and it shows its age a little bit now. But I still think it's one of the most fantastic horror-based, you know, games. The textures that they gave some of the models in the game was fantastic. You're looking down. Wow, oh, her face is all messed up. Oh, is that bone? <laughs> and For I'll the never, day. I'll never play any of these because they're all on PC. Well, okay, okay, <laughs> then. Okay, I can play that. Okay. We'll go. Oh, for, you want to like, go there? I'll fucking go there. I can do that. We'll, 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 you we'll son do of that. a bitch. <laughs> No, they actually, well, see, you wouldn't like them, though, because they always follow the Resident Evil formula. Yeah. Everything from Dino Crisis to Fatal Frame to Parasite Eve, they all pretty much kind of follow oh, that. I love They're all Parasite creep- Eve. That Dino one was really? fucking Jesus. great. Never played ah, the second good. one, but I loved the first Parasite Eve. Uh, I have the-, the second, but still haven't played it. 
I think I have them both on PSN because <laughs> they were six. Bucks. Actually, actually, can I? I actually have another game that I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna count it. I well, don't care if you guys. Well, will. hold on, because I do want to address something that he just mentioned with Fatal Frame. Uh huh. Uh, Nintendo can go fuck themselves for pretty much for not owning bringing four, four or five. Apparently, four isn't five. coming. Yes, and, and the remake of two never came either. Uh, no, and two is the best one. Crimson and, Butterfly is the best. I thought the third was Crimson Butterfly. No, the second one. The second one has the two sisters, and the third one has the tattooed woman. Uh, but I know, I know, Europe got the remake of two on the Wii. I never believe came here. You're right, never came here. Never came here. And the fifth one, apparently, they have no plans to bring it here either. Bastard! So fuck you, Nintendo. Anyway, Give us Fatal Frame. Yeah. So. I've got another game that I was really, 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 really into. It was one of my favorite games. Um, I used to play it every weekend on Friday nights when I was a mall rat. I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna count it. I'm going to fucking count it. House of the Dead. Nice. Oh, nice. yes. So yes. Ha- House of the Dead 1, 2, and 3. I have been able to get through every single iteration of those in arcades on exactly 50 cents. Have you played Overkill? Wow. Yet? I have not, <laughs> and I really want to because. But the only thing it's is, the only on reason why your we I need yes. it. I want the zapper thing because I'm not going to hold shit. a fucking controller up. I want to have. I want to be able to play it like an arcade. You can probably find a gun controller for the Wii for a dollar. I know. I just haven't found one yet. But oh, no, yeah, it's, 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 it's on Steve my, doesn't have any. No, he doesn't buy that shit. Jesus. Nobody wants those <laughs> except for me to play House of the Dead. Check Kmart. They might be clearancing some. I'm, I'm Overkill is fantastic. I wanna. I really want to play that. Because the other thing is, too, is I'm pretty sure you can get two and three on one disc Yeah, for the Wii as well. They're on your Wii. Is that on there, too? Okay, yeah. Yeah, because I want to be... Were- I want to I go through them, and I want to play them again, because it's been fucking forever. But I remember, like, I would be able to go up on a weekend, because I would go up and just hang out with my friends at the mall, because fucking... <laughs> I was an idiot. I'd play DDR and fucking, you know, get ah, a smoothie DDR. and, you know, make fun of DDR other people. DDR is a scary game, too. Um, yes. But I would go up there, and the first first thing I would do as soon as I walk into the mall, I'd go over to the House of the Dead, put 50 cents in, beat the game, and then go and do the whatever else I was doing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was never every that week. good. You're hardcore. Every fucking week. <laughs> I had every high score on that fucking machine. <laughs> So now, see what you also need to play then is the Resident Evil. Uh, what is it? Dark Side Chronicles and Umbrella Chronicles on the yeah. Wii, which are basically the same concept, just set in Resident Evil. On rail shooters, uh, dude. Nope. On rail shooters are seriously like my some of my, like like Time Crisis. I was the same thing with Time Crisis. They're they're on your Wii. I know. I don't have to. Fuck on I'm just t- telling you. So when you do fucking man up and buy a goddamn plastic gun i know because you're too much of a bitch to just <laughs> i played them without it's not the same it's not the same it's not the same it's, it's, the same. it's true it's not the same if i remember Actually, right, what i uh, really wish i could do i really wish i could have like because in time crisis as soon as time crisis 2 came out where the actual top of the pistol would fucking like fire back mm. i really wish i could find a wii remote holder that like every time i hit the trigger it'll go oh god like Oh, I'd be fucking. Force I'd be so feedback. happy. There's, yep, there's I some... loved it. It was the great. And like, I would go into arcades that had that game, and if the thing didn't fucking like, like, f- like fire back, I'd just immediately put, immediately put the gun down and walk away. <laughs> I'm like, what? oh, the way wow. to waste your money. I don't care. It's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same. I want to be able to like hit, hit the trigger and just hear clack, 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 like every single time I'm playing that game. I think there's another on rail shooter on the Wii. Like tar- uh, target terror or something, and then oh, a- there is a Halloween themed one if I remember right. Probably it was. Probably it's like some, some kind of haunted thing. house. I think it was a shovelware. I hate to say it. I don't care. I'll it, play it. Nearly everything on the <laughs> Wii was shovelware. It's true. Yeah. It's sadly true. So, what is the most scared that a game Ooh. has made you? Like something where you've had nightmares mm-hmm. after that just haunted your life. Well, believe it or not, for me, I will go back to I will go to obscurity here, and one of my favorites that's still in my collection on PlayStation Two. There is a little known sort of again. The gameplay is very similar to Fatal Frame and you know Resident Evil, Silent Hill, that type of moving around type thing. It's called Kuon. 
Oh. K-U-O-N. Nice. And it, it had a jump scare moment. It's kind of a, it's a typical, you know, I, I forget what it stands for, hate or something like that. It, it's kind of loosely like Juon was the grudge, that type of thing. Yeah. And if it was a, it was an ancient Shinto ritual gone wrong, fatal framey kind of, you know, horror. You were a priestess. It had a lot of replay value because you could replay through it as someone else. But as you went through it, uh, at one point, it was a jump scare, honestly, and it was one of the first moments in survival horror gaming, and I've played you know, pretty much everything out there over the years, that I actually jumped and about fell off of my bed. This was, mind you, this was probably a good like, 10, 12 years ago, and I fell out of my bed playing this because I was sitting <laughs> on my bed on, ha- on my knees, propped up in front of a television, Nice. And it had one of those moments where you look through a crack in the wall and, oh, okay, I can see, you know, what looks to be a dark haired, you know, the Japanese ghost woman type thing. And you looked away for a moment and it asks if you want to look again. And I look again and it's the eyeball on the other side of the wall. Uh. Now, by this point, I go to expect it. But at that moment, it did a jump scare, you know, huge dramatic moment. And I literally fell off of a bed listening to like, oh, Jesus, <laughs> Oh, I swore for a good five minutes and I said, and I actually sat there afterward. Wow. I'm actually shocked that I actually was surprised at this. This is the first time I've been genuinely frightened. Cool. This game's one of my favorites now. That's awesome. (laughs) Since Pappy's not here, I'm going to ask you because this is a game Pappy's like dying to get his hands on since you've obviously played a ton of horror survival horror games, PlayStation era, uh, have you played Rule of Rose? <laughs> I have, and I actually own a copy. It's down in the basement. If I'm never going to sell it. Get in touch with Pappy because he's dying to get that game. <laughs> it was one of the most effed up games I've played. I'm I'm trying to remember. I got a good like. I think I got a good seventy five percent of the way through it, and it still didn't really make a lot of sense. <laughs> it was a bunch of stuck up girls that were abusing you on an air on an airship and it was very very strange a lot of like running and not having a whole lot of weaponry as i recall i had a knife and i kept getting my ass kicked a lot in it i need to get back to playing it one of these days and finally finish it the music was kind of interesting yeah Pappy yeah, saw I actually, it at yeah. magfest for like 50 bucks a couple of years ago Ow. And he's like, man, he's like, man, it's 50 bucks. I don't want to spend that much. And now every time he goes to MAGFest, <laughs> no one has it. And he looks online. It's like 120 bucks. It's like, I should have wow. fucking bought it for 50. <laughs> wow. I'm tempted. I should sell my copy now. <laughs> it well, was honestly not that great of a game, to be dead honest. Yeah. He still wants it, though. It's one of the few it's, he has yeah. really played that he wants to. I know some of the cheaper copies like disc only or rough shape could get like 70 bucks, but there's some oddball rarities out there. And it was one of those rarities. I always kept my eyes open for PS2 and I, I, I got a, I got, I picked it up probably like six, seven years back at least on a clearance, believe it or not at a yeah. GameStop. Nice. I think I picked up huh. it and lifeline at the time. Oh which, God, that game. <laughs> uh huh. That qualifies as survival horror, but I don't know that it qualifies as much of a game as no, that far game as game is a, just a horror. That game is scary yeah. as shit to try and play. It was a yell at somebody simulator with the PlayStation Two microphone yeah. while she tries to fight like giant space slugs. Have you heard of that game, Chris? Not at all. It's entirely voice controlled for the PS2. Oh, oh that I'm sure that went lovely. And it <laughs> played like dog shit. I'm shocked. Hey, it came with the microphone. <laughs> I'm fucking shocked. <laughs> so, Chris, any games that have given you nightmares for life besides Mortal Kombat? Oh, Jesus. Um, well, uh, Majora's Mask was probably the other one that, that jumps out at me. Um, there was... Man, what the fuck was it? You should be prepared for these when I ask the guest a question. See, but the the problem it's is also coming I was at trying you. To, I was I was trying to think about it while you were asking him, and, and then you were thinking about how bad you want to play Time Crisis again. I did actually. <laughs> um, I, see, the problem is, is like I I stay clear of a lot of these types of games just because like I know that I don't really get enjoyment out of them. Well, like, it doesn't have to be necessarily a scary game. 
Oh, I'm sitting on a hoodie. Uh, you go for just survival. Actually, a very, very odd game that you wouldn't expect when I was younger. I had nightmares repeatedly. Uh, mm. The one night I actually got sick and I'm throwing up and I was just dreaming about this over and over. Uh, Super Mario Brothers 2. Mouser. Oh, okay. what the fuck? I know. I, it's I, a mouse. <laughs> I, I couldn't explain it. Like in the dream, I'm just in his chamber. There's like poison gas everywhere. He's throwing bombs at me. And Actually, I couldn't wake up for that. Poison gas. Should, hold on. Funny thing that you should mention Dang. it about Super Mario Brothers 2. I vaguely remember me being slightly uneasy about when you go to Birdo for the first time. And then the fucking when you kill Birdo, mm. the thing that opens up that you have to walk through, like the eagle yeah, that, looking that. thing, that kind of freaked me out a lot when I was younger because I'm like, what do I do? I, I don't want to go in there. He's going to eat me. Or like, near was, the end where the bird like came to life and I was never, chasing you. I down. never, I never got the that head. Oh, oh my yeah. God. The bird head just like came off the wall and started coming at you. That and the fucking, the little, the, the, the mask, the, the mask guys, those guys. Fantos. Yeah. Looking back, oh, yes. there's some fucked up shit in Mario too. <laughs> What the fuck? Uh, yeah, I didn't even like. Now that now that you mentioned it, I was like, yeah, that was kind of freaky. But yeah, I I might not have a as great a memory as I used to, but that dream oh, fuck of that. being in Mauser's lair and just me waking up vomiting, and it it's just always stayed with me. And it's just the dumbest thing looking back. But well, well, I mean, I will see. I will say this too. I mean, like the first time that I ever played Diablo two, like the very first time. Yeah. Like, there were a lot of places where I was just kind of like, especially, what was it, in fucking, um, uh, in Act 2, um, it's like real, like, deserty. Um, there's like these uh, skeletal phantom things that come after you. Like, mm. those things kind of freaked me out. And then um, Bale freaked me out a lot. Diablo was kind of funny looking. Um, so he didn't really like, eh, it's whatever. You're funny looking. Um <laughs> And uh, actually, Mephisto was really fucking creepy, too. But it was mostly just like it was the level design. Like, I was going through these levels, Mm -hmm. and I was like, Jesus Christ, man. Like, this is fucking, like, brutal. Like, this is really crazy looking. Well, Diablo 2 had this just sense of depressing, like, there's no hope. You're mindlessly trapped in this place, and there's no hope. The music was depressing. The levels felt depressing. Uh It's a great game, but, man, it could really bring you down. And you know what? And I think that had an overarching, like, effect on my life uh, in my childhood. (laughs) Because that was like all I played. Like it was literally I that song ran through my head at least like fucking like five or six times a day for a good like six years. So six, like six I, or I seven think years. Music so. was another reason why Mauser just got to me. Just that the panic yeah, feeling. It was that. Well, it's it's it, like I said. It was that and that fucking. I mentioned it last week, but in Pokemon for fucking for that that town oh man. Every, t- every time I listened to that song, man, like I felt fucking queasy. I like how like, he he just knew what town you were talking about. Too. It's <laughs> creepy, dude. Like it's. I re- never noticed that when I was a kid. The worst part is now that I've read all these creepy internet stories, I go back to the music and listen to it, and it's like, how did I not notice how like eerie, gloomy oh, this it's is? Fucking creepy, dude. Like, and if you want to hear the music, you could go back to last week's episode where we interviewed the One Ups. And played their entire album, uh-huh. start to finish. That was awesome. It was an it was entire good... album, brand new album, start to finish. Yeah, start to finish. I know whole album. I have not listened to last. Don't I have fucking not listened listen to. Last. Last. <laughs> I feel bad. Indoor voices. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> and now we have a giant spike in the in the recording sorry let me start that over go fucking listen to there you go <laughs> now you could just chop that you could that's just... the gentlest oh, angry. oh no oh no go go chop it's gonna it. stay in there and then when you complain that your mic is too low because when i normalize it it has to normalize to that giant scream that you just did well then just go to that scream and lower the volume on that scream. <laughs> yeah you can yeah, that would take so much work for me to just scroll into the one spike and just be like, select spike, lower volume. Uh, no, it doesn't work like that. And I could do DAWs. it. You can, by all <laughs> means, do it. Well, I don't know how your program works. I'm telling you, I could just, in audacity, just lower that volume. That's what you get. You, usually, you're the one who 
gets too loud. Do you want to know why it hasn't been me? Do you want a man? Do you, do you, do you want to know why? No. Okay. Video games. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we should probably let you go, Ken. We did want to get back in touch with Pappy since the internet died and he just kind of disappeared on us. Uh, true, true. Any, any other horror-style game memories you have to share with us? Uh, I'm trying to think. Um only one I can think of off the top of my head would be that's significant to me in particular was The Suffering, which, if you remember, oh, it was a yeah. PS2 title. I do, and it was I the uh, fellow that. who got sent to prison, as I recall, wrongly. He had the monster inside of him. And I remember that one distinctly because, specifically, got to give props, if I remember right, the extra video footage on the DVD that the PlayStation disc came on explained how the game was inspired by a penitentiary, and I'm recall, I'm trying to recall where, i got to pull it out now, in Pennsylvania. Ooh, it was inspired by an abandoned prison penitentiary. All the monsters, you know, inspired by the guards with sedatives. And everything was based Wait, on this was really, it, really was creepy. It supposed to be the one that was in Philly, like near Philly. That, that I'm thinking. Yeah, it was probably that. Um, God, what the fuck is the name? Of it they, uh, Jordan and Tasha would actually probably know when they come back in. Um, yeah, I can't remember the fucking. All I know name is Pennsylvania's now, fucked up. It is. Oh, I it could is. be. Well, no, it is based. Okay, the game itself is based in Rhode Island. But and it doesn't mention it, huh? I was even uh, wikiing it right now, and I'm kind of disappointed. I'll have to actually nobody's mentioned it on wiki, but I remember the you fake can, jail was based on Pennsylvania. You can you can be the one that puts it in. Yeah. You'd be a hero to the people. That's that's your homework <laughs> for next Wednesday. My, by next Wednesday, we want to see an email at the SML Podcast at gmail dot com, and you've got to tell us about this prison. There you go. Yeah, because now I kind of want to go there. I mean, it, we've got all the stuff. Heck, we've got Centralia, Pennsylvania, where they did yeah. the uh, Silent Hill movie based on. I still have not made the pilgrimage there. Really? Never made it to Centralia? Oh, Centralia. I've been there like two or three times. Yeah. Really? Is, is, is it, uh, do they get on your case as much as I've heard? You know, oh, police yeah. checking the area. Really? Uh, oh, yeah. Not when I was there, but that was a while ago. Uh, By the way, if you make it to Centralia, I'm like a half hour from there. So. Really? Oh, wow. So it's pretty much practically your backyard is Silent Hill. Kind of. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Sounds about oh, right. excellent. <laughs> yeah, Berwick's pretty scary. So Yeah, there's just all those houses <laughs> blowing up from meth labs. Yeah, that's what the fog oh, in wow. town is. That's yeah, what the fog it's is just from. meth smoke. <laughs> wow. That's all it is. On We're, that note. On that note, uh, we want to thank you for joining us. Do you have anything final to say for our listeners or for anybody in particular? Not anything I can think of in particular other than uh, survival horror rocks. It's my favorite genre, so get scared. Enjoy Halloween. And I know in you guys' case, you can look forward to my silver Atari jacket, my Halloween costume at MagFest. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys later then. All right. Take it easy. <laughs> yeah, bye. Good times. Video games. Now to find Pappy. I'm sure he'll be fine. He better be ready. He'll be he won't be ready. He better be ready. He won't be ready. No, he won't. That's okay though. Uh, he I texted understand. me that he pooped. He should, I, should I read his texts his texts first? Texts. Uh he said I told him that we're gonna chat with Ken for a bit and then call him. He said, Okay. Uh gonna go poop and then Six minutes later, that was a good poop. Six minute poop. That seems about right. That's a good poop. That's a solid poop. It sounded like he he was in a rush. Which that in was a poop rush. Yeah, he's in a poop rush. Six minutes is me hurrying up. Like I I gotta six chill out. No, relax. six six minutes is a for me. It's I mean I'm pretty regular, so I'm a relaxer. Like I could get the job done in like five minutes. That's good, but. I know. have Facebook. So. <laughs> That's a thing. Let's see. Let's see if he's there an hour later. An hour later. Hey Jordan, what's the name of that uh, penitentiary that was in like Philadelphia or whatever? Penhurst. Penhurst. Penhurst Asylum.
no one. Okay, so Eastern State Pen- Penitentiary is the one that's in Philly. The other one. It, I went to that one. Got yeah, it. Pappy apparently went there. Got it. Yeah. All right. Back in like 2005, 2006. Okay. There you go. Hi, no, Pappy. No one's going to be able to make sense of what was being talked about there. That's fine. I mentioned it at <laughs> some point in there. It was a horror thing. You ha- horror. Horror? Horror. Is that was the horror? Horror? Horror. Yo, so uh So what's up? Ken has a copy of uh uh Ruler Rose. Ruler Rose. God damn it. We were talking about it and I was like <laughs> happy wants it so bad. And he saw it at Magfest for like fifty bucks and he never bought it and now he goes back and it's never there or it's like hundred and twenty bucks online. He's like, Wow, it's worth that much. I might sell it. Yeah. Yeah. And then we talked about it. I was like, man, too bad Pappy's not on here. He could be hearing all about this game. I know. Too bad my internet's what? not here. He could it could be the host in all the Skype calls. Yeah, sir. I, it just, <laughs> the whole thing just died. It's gone. I, I have none. Well, yeah. No internet. And I want to apologize for that because I, I mentioned the game and, and it was such a bad, bad game that it just crashed, it just crashed your internet. the internet. Yeah. I just realized we probably could have had Pappy add Ken to his call. Yeah, probably. And then everything could have just been done that way. Yeah, probably. Yeah, because I have 100 Mbps. Yeah, probably. Hey, Pappy, you want to call Ken? <laughs> no. No. No, he had no. his turn. No. Now we'll give you your turn, Pappy. Pappy's turn. So oh. say say what you got to say. Come on. I. It's been so long. <laughs> so, uh, no, did any either of you guys play uh, Alien Isolation? I have not played it yet, no. Alien Isolation, Don't. I've played, um, traded into the game store for $20 for like a week now. When did you get it? I've been playing it. I've been playing the game called People Trading It Into oh, the Store. Oh, I thought you said I played the game called Trade It Into the Game Store for 20 bucks. No. Other people it, trading Other it. people trading it into the video game store that I work at. I, I heard it was good. Is there something you don't like about it, Crapo? Um, it, it's the alien is broken. The alien is broken. Yeah, oh. if it hears you, you die. If, if it sees you, you die. And sometimes it just kills you, even though it didn't hear or see you. It's basically a hiding in a locker simulator. <laughs> well, it is a giant deadly alien. Yeah, but it... Even on easy, it's like, you know what? Uh, no, fuck you. Like, <laughs> what, you know, I'm expecting uh, a tense atmosphere and a playable game. What I get is a tense atmosphere and death. So that's not or, at all. Or you hide in a locker for eight fucking minutes because the alien breaks and decides to take a shit outside your door while reading the newspaper. Nice. Well, I mean, like, that's kind of realistic, I guess, yeah. right? <laughs> Hey, if you got to go, you got to go. It's, it gets a little boring. And then I made the mistake calls. of turning on. Uh, there's an option at the beginning of the game where you can turn on your connect uh, speaker. So any oh, sound you make. stupid. <laughs> so I couldn't even go use a bathroom because if I flushed, the alien heard me and, and, and murdered me. <laughs> that is hilarious <laughs> that they enabled the connect to do that. <laughs> so uh, if, if you're playing and the alien's coming and you're just like, oh, fuck. Yes, you're, you're dead. dead. That's yes. hysterical. It's like cursing during sports games. You got a you got a fucking yellow flag or a technical foul. <laughs> you I, idiot. When during my like two week stint where I got into NBA two K fourteen, I was playing and I'm I already went over in a previous episode how fucking horrible I was at the game. Uh huh. I would just get the ball stolen from me and scored on me. I'm outscored by twenty points and I keep getting dicked over because I'm terrible at the game. I'm just like, yeah, well, fuck you, game technical foul. <laughs> I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Technical file. Yeah. That's, That's fantastic. That's what you get. So I just resorted to flipping off the TV instead. <laughs> Did that be even funnier if it was just like technical foul? Technical like, foul. What the fuck? <laughs> Coach is ejected from the game. I can't play anymore. And they just like they delete your content from your hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> like, go oh, buy it again, man. idiot. <laughs> so Pappy, I saw you playing Sunset Overdrive earlier. I talked about that briefly before you, yeah it's fun you have any thoughts no it's i mean it's you know for my slow uncoordinated body it's it's a little hard but it's a slow, lot of fun uncoordinated and it's very funny body 
you do have to keep busy in that game. Like if you stand you on the ground and shoot at enemies, you're gonna die. You get punished. Yeah, huh. you get punished. You're gonna die. You need to be jumping, like bouncing off cars, grinding on wires, just staying off the ground. I, I could the aim is a little rough. It's 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 it is a little more twitchy than I prefer. Uh, so I, I, I waste a lot of bullets, but it's a fun game. Like they designed it well enough that you can overlook some of the flaws because you're enjoying yourself. I don't, I don't really have a problem with the aiming. I mean, the lock on is incredibly generous. You just have to be pointed in the direction of an enemy and it locks on for you. But it seems like some of the guns are either just not very effective or not very accurate. Like the, the gun where you shoot the records out, the vinyl, like you'll shoot it a dozen times and maybe one enemy will die. Yeah, but if you do hit it, it bounces off all the other enemies, which is yeah. kind of nice. Or it just sticks in their face. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I and I bought the devil with yeah the the evil within, and I just haven't played it yet. <laughs> You're turning into me. <laughs> well, I, I'm prepping for Christmas. <laughs> I get ten days off, so You're Christmas. You know. Well, that and, you know, if the inclement weather leaves you stranded inside of your house. Oh, yeah, that yeah, won't happen because you're in Vegas. Yeah, no. <laughs> Fuck you. No, I'll, I'll be able to go outside in, in like, jeans and a T-shirt for Christmas. He'll be tanning you. for Christmas. Fuck yeah. you. People were complaining that it was really cold this morning because it was down to, like, 58. Oh, poor babies. See, now, the only other thing is you would have to have, like, an AC in your house like at all times right well actually i turn off the ac in like november december january and my electric bill is like 32 bucks Jeez. so i just crack a window open and i'm good that's like lower than mine what the fuck like i have one room <laughs> oh, you have two my whole electric one bill it's, it's really nice all, one that's on no but now in the summer it's like 170 so Okay. Just so I can keep, so just so I keep the house so, at seventy. So he has to turn, turn the air conditioner up when it's one hundred and seventy outside. So he, so he, he yeah. turns like five air conditioners on. Well, I would assume he has central air because it's Vegas. Yes. Yes. Like if you're but doing still, like, window air conditioners in Vegas, you're doing it really wrong. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll set the AC to like seventy nine when I leave for work, and then down to seventy five when I get home, and my electric bill is still closer to two hundred than than one hundred five. Fuck that. Yeah. Ours is at like 64 in the summer. <laughs> yep. True that. Yeah, well, then that would be like a $300 electric bill. Fuck you and your Which would also probably be just as equal as our heating bills in the winter. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess that makes well, sense. I just paid Video 30. games. Let's play Bill Video Simulator games. 2014. 2015. You always <laughs> go to the next year. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's yeah. true. <laughs> It's patched. Or just do like the car model and be like Bill Simulator 2016. Yeah, which, fuck that. Like, that doesn't make any goddamn sense. Not at all. <sighs> so, what other horror games have you played, Pappy? Talk to us. Uh, Life. <laughs> Life is a horror game. Oh, we know that. <laughs> We've discussed that earlier. <laughs> uh, now, I don't know if D4 is a horror, but that was definitely a weird game. Uh, I, I know I beat it at your house, but I got it here and I've been playing it again, showing it off. Yeah. Did you grab it's, your it's, DLC? No, I haven't turned on my Xbox yet today. Well, turn it the fuck on and get that DLC before it disappears. Lick me. DLC. Well, it's it's cool what they're doing kind of with the DLC for D4. Uh, they're putting out free costumes and like beard sets and everything else. It's completely free. D4? For, yeah. For the Xbox One. I don't know. What is D4? It's a new game from the guy who did Deadly Premonition. Yeah, dark dreams don't die. So it's fucked up crazy. It so is. So not something I would play. It's not scary, really. It's, it's just, just weird. Yeah, very, very weird. It's pretty ridiculous. But the the DLC is they're just different like shirts and sweaters uh, that are cross-branded with other games like Crimson Dragon, Power Star Golf, Swords and Sorcery. Huh. Uh, they're up for two or three weeks and then they're gone. That's weird. So you got to get them and get them quick. Like you can't get the Fable stuff anymore. You can't get the Crimson Dragon stuff. I don't know if they'll bring them back eventually. But Well, there's a lot of stuff that they do even with um, uh, Payday. Like like right now they just added like four 
like four new masks, like four new patterns and like all this kind of stuff. And you can only get them from like now until like, I don't know, like like a week or two from now. Huh. So like they do that stuff constantly. Which uh, Payday's apparently coming to PS4 and Xbox One soon. Ooh, man. Maybe, maybe they'll be like Diablo and bit a bit more or be a bit more up to date with. If it's gonna be content. like, if it's gonna be like an updated version of like where they're at now, I would consider picking it up because like they've put out so much shit for that game, it's not even funny. But they just don't support it on it. Like, like I don't think the consoles are designed to be supported like that. I don't. I guess they're not. It's just because it's even shitty. Diablo's like, not supported like that on last gen consoles. The last gen consoles, no. So, but, but the current gen stuff that you know they're supporting it frequently. Hmm. So maybe Payday will be the same. You never know. Maybe Payday will actually be worth picking up on on an Xbox One. They maybe. honest, dude. I tell you what, man. Like Payday, I've actually been really wanting to play that game again because, like, the the problem is, is it's one of those games that you have to have people to play with. Uh-huh. It's it's required. Get in touch with Shale and play with him. Maybe you can oh, find that's him. Right. If he's not too busy, like bitching having about a medical America, freak out, bitching or or bitching America. about America, America. Either he's dying or he's hating everything. Which One of the two. yes, which is pretty which much is American. What, yeah, which yeah, that's the American way. Tis. So what else, Pappy? What's up? Uh, not a whole lot. Um, although I've been you know indulging my usual horror film fare for the last thirty days. What kind of shit you watching? Uh, we're actually doing horror month at work, so every lunchtime we're we're watching a movie. So, you know, we did Poltergeist, and uh, they're doing the new Amityville Horror uh, right now, finishing that up tomorrow, and then I think it's Holy Sinister shit. after that. Watch your S's. Sorry. God damn. It's it's Sinister after that one. <laughs> and, uh, no, it's been pretty fun. I, you know, I brought in a bunch of movies. Uh, the only disappointment was that I oversold Dog Soldiers, so nobody liked it. Uh, and that kind of hurt my feelings because it's you know one of the top five best werewolf movies ever made. Well, don't lead in with that next time. <laughs> yeah, next time you're like, hey, here's a movie. Here, Watch you it. might like this one. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Um, Say that about Doom and watch that. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, no. Sometimes you can't lie well enough about, to cover hey, up. Hey, we we talked about this game earlier. <laughs> Make them watch House of the Dead. Oh God! Which one? Actually, I've been watching. Um, you guys know Team Four Star, right? You know, I've talked about them before. Um, they hey. make the guy who voices, who does the voice of Krillin when they're doing the uh, Dragon Ball Z stuff. Yeah. They make him play horror games. Mm. So I've been watching that, and it's just absolutely hilarious. Like watching him play Outlast and Slender, and uh, apparently he does play in Isolation. So I might watch that a little bit later because just this guy who's scared of everything playing a horror game and freaking the fuck out the entire time. So Which like we should I, do with Chris. I'm not no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I said should. It's not yeah, it's not, should. It's not, not gonna, could should. possibly do. It's not gonna happen. It'll never happen. Over my dead body. Remember back in the day when there were better times and Pappy, you and I were talking about how you could write for our old site. Yeah, do movie yeah, uh, do video game reviews. Video game movie reviews. They could yeah. have had an entire month of Halloween movie reviews on yeah. our old site. Doom, House of the Dead, Resident, 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 Evil, Resident, Evil. Resident Evil, all nine of them. <laughs> wasn't there? Wasn't there a uh, was Silent Hill? Two of them. Yeah, uh, yeah, two Silent Hills. A um, good one and a not good one. Yep. There was. Uh, oh. There Dead Space had an animated one. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Fuck. Super Mario Brothers is pretty scary. Just its existence. <laughs> it's the fact that it exists. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, shit, there was one that was kind of like borderline action horror. Um, fuck. They did an animated one. You're an where action horror. Where you did the Dan- Dante's Inferno. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I'm trying to think. Of what, let's Let's... Let's rack our brains. Let's try and find some more. There has to be more of just vi- horror video, video game horror movies? video game movies. Postal. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Well, really, anything by Uwe Boll is pretty horrific, well, but the not Blood necessarily. Rain movies. Sc- 
There's like four Blood Rain movies, three or oh, four. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Jesus, really? I didn't know there was more four, than one. Yeah, I know there's at one. least three because the third one was the Third Reich. Oh, God. <laughs> and the, the girl from Terminator 3 showed her titties in it. Well, they're going to do a Dead Rising movie. Yeah, with uh, oh Rob Riggle. Oh, my God. That'll be fucking yeah. awesome. With Rob Riggle is Frank West. Holy shit. <laughs> it, it makes sense. It does. It does. <laughs> that's going to be so cool. Uh, uh, that's fucking exciting, actually. Um, I feel like there's one that I'm like... It didn't they, Did they do any Fatal Framey movies? You know, uh, I was going to say they should. I'm sure they did. If they haven't, they should. I think let it's me, Japan. Me, I have. feel like they exist. We've already discussed how Fatal Frame is criminally underrepresented here in America. Yes. Oh, P- Fatal PS Frame fuck film. You, Nintendo. Yeah. An upcoming Hollywood horror film announced on a Nico Nico video stream on July 15th. The film is set to begin as soon as the current new Fatal Frame project is completed, which consists of the fifth installment of the game, a novel, a Japanese film, and a manga. So there will be a Fatal Frame movie. But we still won't get the fifth game. No. No. Or the Japanese movie or the manga. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I mean, you'll get the movie. It'll be in a fan fan subtitle in like hours after it's released on. And Nintendo will provide us with a gigantic middle finger. Basically. And then they'll tell us about some DLC coming out in nine months. Which speaking speaking of DLC. Did you see the one for fucking Mario Kart? I'm so excited. Yeah. Excite Bike Arena. Dude. There's a Fatal Frame movie teaser already on YouTube. You're a teaser. So. Well, there you go. There you go. So, yeah. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Video oh, games. Look, drown- oh, confused Asian girls, a drowning Asian girl. Yeah, no, it's 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 definitely a Japanese horror movie. Yep, Asian girl in her nightgown in the trees. There's a creepy camera. Yeah, it's just like the game. All it and, needs is tentacles. And Pappy's jerking off right now. Well, that's what I did for the 90 minutes I was waiting for you to call back. It wasn't 90. It <laughs> was Dude, like 70. we're at a, an hour and 40 minutes. Yeah, that's why I was like, it was 70. It was we're like an hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> Lying asshole. Yes. It's 10 minutes. Like, it's been like an hour since you took a shit. So. Yeah, it was a good shit. Tell us about you. it. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> so, Pappy, what have you been playing? Just uh, we've pretty much uh, yeah, gone over all that. that. God damn. Do you forget? Or well, you I thought dr- maybe he's playing something else. No, God, no, no. I like mean, something. I mean, I was locked up for six days when I was going to yeah, be gaming. He's locked up for six days. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. You know what we should play? What? Oh, Diablo. there's a Stay Alive, dude. Uh, movie based on a video as game. As, as soon as I get an Xbox One, I'm telling you, I'm gonna like. I'm going to fucking blow your mind with how much you didn't know existed in that game. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm wondering how many uh, special items Pappy has waiting for him from all the times I've been playing and sending him shit. Shit, probably a lot. I know I, I got one for you. Nice. Fucking send yeah. it to me. No. Bitch. <laughs> no, you don't get it. <laughs> uh, something else you could try, Pappy, as Chris <laughs> knocks the phone over. Sorry. You son of a bitch. Uh, check out the game How to Survive. It just yeah, came yeah, out yeah, today. Yeah. I know you were talking about it. I've I've seen YouTube clips and stuff. It just looks it looks more creepy simply because you're pretty much just abandoned. Well, it's kind of like well, yeah, we already went over this. It's like Dead Island mixed with Diablo. Okay. It has a free demo, so give it a go. Oh yeah, free demo. I guess I, I downloaded uh when I was traveling uh The Forest, which is supposed to be like a really good horror game for like tablets and phones but the controls were so shitty that i played for like 35 seconds i think i remember you mentioning that the last time that you were on yeah yeah because it was one of the ones i was looking forward to playing on the way you yeah know, home and it, yeah, it was Dude, terrible my memory is not I, too bad i heard it looks good uh, it looked, even on on my you know nexus 7 it, it looked nice but it just it was a t- it was a tap and move so but it was so unresponsive you're a tap and move. Oh, well, shit. if you tap me, I'll probably move, yes. So, uh, believe it or not, we have an email. We have an email. Figure me, we'll, we shit. might as well get to that. Okay. Uh, it's from Nate. Nate. He says, saw your post, Joe. I got a good one. Because, of course, I made a Facebook post asking people to send in 
their favorite Halloween-ish game stories, and one person messaged us. Yep. So thanks, We're loved. Nate Horsefall, artist for DOD and organizer of All Things Dwelling. So, by all the way, did you enter yeah. DOD lately? <laughs> um, what? Let me put it to you this way. I owe someone a drum track for one of their remixes, and I still haven't been able to get to it yet. Like got an email. They're they're pay they're paying me to do a drum track for them, and I haven't even been able to do that yet. Well, you but bonus points if you do it on a beer can the night before. Sean. <laughs> so anyway, Nate says, so I can't play scary games at all. Oh, so it's a Chris story. But I love watching them. It's the whole passive versus direct influence thing that gets to me. See, I can't even watch them. So anyway, in yeah. college, my roommate picked up Silent Hill 2, and every single night he was going to play it, he shut off all the, or shut all the blinds, turned off all the lights, and cranked the sound. As most people know, that came game. He spelled came. <laughs> yeah. So that, <laughs> that cum is just dripping with, <laughs> with atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you should eat healthier. Uh, can we just like take a moment for that? So Nate's, <laughs> Nate's cum is dripping with atmosphere, and sound is a huge part of it, too. So it's just a loud cum. grunt and squirt. <laughs> anyway, pretty early in the game, there comes this part where you're standing in front of this door about to open, and you just hear the most horrible grinding sound. So first he talks about cum and then grinding. I think he's doing it backwards. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're supposed to grind on her and then, you know. Okay. Anyhow. Or crashing sound. It was like a train crashing over and over and over. My roommate stopped in front of the door and refused to open it. He just stared back at me and we're both like, what the fuck is that? We sat there with this noise repeating over and over, pure terror, but nothing was actually endangering us. At least five or more minutes later, he finally moved ahead and opened the door that's when you get the first glimpse of Pyramid Head. And you find out that it's this huge knife he's dragging around, which is making that sound. He doesn't come after you, though. He just walks along, slowly. Of course, my roommate avoided that guy like the plague, but every single time afterward you heard that damn sound, you just knew instantly that he was there, and you instantly got terrified. One instance not too long afterward has you encountering him literally fucking a pair of disembodied legs, waist down. And all he does is just kind of glances at you and wanders off while the legs also wander off. By far one of the most messed up things I've ever seen, video game or not. There's a reason Silent Hill is always at the top of everyone's list of, list of scary fucked up shit in games. I can still see the entire scene from encountering him to those legs in my head playing out. That was once well over a decade ago. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, fun so fact Nate, is Nate wasn't the, the only that, one that came in that. <laughs> yeah. That's the game that got me addicted to uh, horror games. Uh, when I was in Japan, uh, one of my friends and uh, coworkers went 30 uh, days of leave back to Michigan to get married, and he let me borrow his PS2 and games while he was gone, and uh, that's pretty much how I played the whole time. Nice. Yeah. And it, yeah, it was fantastically, horrifyingly amazing. So what other old school horror games have you played? Fatal Frame, obviously. Nice. Uh, someday Rule of Rose. No. Someday. No, no you no, won't. No. Aww. No. <laughs> you stupid asshole. <laughs> Aww. Never going to happen. Uh, yeah, man, I'm trying to dredge up my memory, but uh, Clock Tower, I played that a little bit. How did we not mention Clock three. Tower? Three. Clock Tower now. 3, because I'm better than you. We could have mentioned probably the Deception games, too. Well, the only re I'm going to use this as an excuse. The only reason why that oh. it shouldn't come on my shoulders <laughs> uh, for me to <laughs> reference horror games is because I do I avoid them. Um, at all costs. The episodic Telltale Walking Dead. Uh, they're yeah. horrific because of the choices you have to make. True. Yeah, we talked about that a bit. I mentioned how I've bought it on multiple systems and still haven't finished season one. Yeah, because I guess I'll finish it at yeah, Mag. Yeah, because you didn't play it when you visited. <laughs> so we did get the room confirmed, just so you know. So we're getting the small room. Cool. No, no party room this year, and I'm yeah. pretty happy for that. Finally so it'll only be like 100. Where we get to relax. Yeah, it'll be like 150 bucks a person instead of 370. Was it 360 last year? 
I thought it was like four something. My room for the yeah, entire per- weekend is costing me two hundred. <laughs> but it is also not in the same building I have to drive. Yeah. So haha. Uh-huh. So Yeah, no. And it's I, I, I wanted to avoid at least uh having to walk at the at the minimum. Yeah. To the all, of the, all of them so, were sold out. Yeah, so props to Steph for uh taking care of us. Indeed. Yeah. No props to Colette for ignoring no, us through the entire summer. No, props to She did. She did get to us. No, it's it's not her fault. Um, the Gaylord royally fucked us over, and even though we had an agreement with them that all upgrades were to go through Magfest, uh, they sold like two thirds of their upgrade suites to other guests. Nice. Immediately, so Magfest had to scramble. Like, hey, what 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 the fuck, guys? We we get all these emails, and now you're telling us we don't have the rooms for it. So. That was so that's why, all on the. Why is Gaylord like intent on fucking over Magfest? Because they know that they're it. They're like the last place that Magfest can be hosted. Did they double be, book us again? Uh no, I don't believe so. It's just I'm. I think we're gonna, they're gonna they're they're topping twelve thousand this year. I, I, I'm willing to bet my my hotel's ten minutes away. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, every single hotel for the. And it's not like holiday either. It's like the 23rd to the 26th, right? Or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So the, there's no holidays that we're bumping up against and, you know, New Year's partiers. This is just MAGFest has pretty much booked every hotel on that island. Nice. Yep. So what days did you get the room anyway? We'll have it. Uh, should be Thursday night to Monday morning. Cool. I'll double check, of course. Is but it? We'll be there. Uh, is it MAGFest it's, ending on Monday, though? Yeah, it's starting on. What do you want from me? Everything. Yeah, the it's world. starting. On, it's, isn't it starting on Saturday? Yeah, I think it's Friday to Monday. <laughs> Apparently, this year. silence. Is what it you, for me? Yeah, because I think I got my room Thursday from like Monday through... to Tuesday or something, or from uh, uh, Friday to Tuesday or something. Tuesday. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it Magfest goes Friday to Monday this year instead of yeah, Thursday I know it to does. Sunday. I know it does. Like I said, I'll double check. Don't don't be all cranky on me. Don't be up pants. Anyway. Anywho. Oh my god! Um, so, <laughs> uh, what are we doing for music? This week? Uh, music is going to be a mix of scary-ish music. I I was going to plan it out. I know one song, but I don't want to give it away. Okay, just play the Silent Hill theme, like from Dale North. I might play some of Dale's Silent Horror stuff. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Which, by the way, you guys should check out x strikestudios dot com. And look for their silent horror and resident horror movies and buy them. Before they sell out. Yeah, because... Because they're done. Yeah, company's done, so get them while you can. Okay. They're endorsed by Crack Doc. By, by crack? crack Doc. Crack. They're endorsed by Crack. Yes. Get away, Fruit Fly. <laughs> just fucking, so quiet. Fucking Fruit Fly. Yeah, you just, like, cut out on us again. Yeah, no, I, I, it's time for me to say goodnight because apparently your internet is terrible. Dude, Pennsylvania sucks so bad. I hate PA, man. Just move well, down this, to this Philly, isn't Josh. Even Josh is enjoying now. it. No, that, that's this, on his phone. This is 4G right now because there's still no internet I still here. don't have any internet. So I can't wait to see my data usage. It's going to be great. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, well, thanks for having me on again. Word, bird. Is there anything specific you want to hear, Pabby? I know Dale North. Del Norte, which by Del the way, Norte. I I don't know if it'll come through, but he is our scheduled guest for next week. So fingers well, crossed. He, he does have free time. Yes, he does. <laughs> yeah. First I, time I, in eight years. I don't know how much we're gonna go into Dale leaving Destructoid. Probably not much at all. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure if that's something he wants to talk about or wants to avoid. Kind of yeah. like I wasn't sure if Pappy wanted to talk about how he's trying to sober up. Which again, it's nope. pretty awesome. There is no try, only do. Although I, I love how you posted that, and then it's just an outpouring of everybody on Facebook, like we're behind you, we're behind you. Oh, nope. nope, pretty good. And I started off with "I've got your back and your front." Per. Yeah, and then I had to mark my Facebook not safe for work. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pappy, all that, all that, all the money that you were spending on booze, if you want to hook a brother up with an Xbox One for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm uh I'm starting a tattoo fund for the next year. Okay. Yeah, all right, buddy. So, let me get some new ink. There's an actual place here that specializes in horror tattooing. 
Ooh. Well, I tell you so. what, man. As much as I hate the guy, there's actually a guy down here that I would suggest to you too. Like the guy's a dickhead, but Ron Russo does great fucking horror stuff. So, if I can walk back for a touch up. Crickets. Anyway, all I'm saying <laughs> is when you're down in the area and if you want to look at his stuff. When you all up in our area, you know, sometime in 2015. Oh my god, you're online again. Am I? Yeah. yeah. I am. I'm online again. Yeah. Oh my god, we're back up. I call Ken back. No. no. <laughs> we're done. Now you can get porn again. Yay. Yay. And no, now I can attempt to see if, how long it'll take to log into Xbox Live. <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably be like 20 minutes. ETA tomorrow. Pretty much. It's only $20. It's only 20 minutes. Anyway. Oh, man. Pappy, we got to play Diablo. Again. Yeah. Again, um, you got to wait I'm doing, until I get one. So. No, we don't. I might. I, should do. I'll pr- I don't know when I'll be free Friday. I'm going to some special horror thing Friday, but I'll let you know. I love all the time since you left that you're like, yeah, we'll play Diablo tomorrow or we'll play it on Tuesday. Yeah, no, we'll I'm, play it on Well, hey, Wednesday. at least well, last week I had a legitimate reason to cancel on you. Yeah, <laughs> but, well, we didn't have any plans over the weekend. It's true. It was before that. Yeah, sorry. I was busy being drunk by myself. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. now I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm proud of you, Pappy. Does that mean when I'm having problems, you, you can like be there for me now? Uh, no, no, <laughs> no! I don't want to hear it. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, no, yeah, dude. Happy. I mean, well, you know, you've always been welcome to call me. I just, you know, might not answer. Care. He just, <laughs> he just ignores me to watch Netflix instead. <laughs> Well, yeah, well, that's the problem with being addicted to, to cooking shows and Bravo constantly putting new ones up. It's oh, terrible. Well. It is. Oh, it's, think, it's an addiction. Thinking of horror movies, on an episode of At Midnight this week, uh, they showed a trailer for something called, what was it, Ginger Dead Man versus the Evil Bong. Okay, don't, oh my God. don't ruin it for me because I watched the first one this week. I still need to watch the one from yesterday, and I'm going to have to watch, from, watch the one from tonight. I have Hulu, so I was going to watch it later. So don't ruin it for me. What, At Midnight? Yes. No, I'm just talking. This is like one of the things they showed at the very beginning. Just that there is a movie called Ginger Dead Man versus the Evil Bong. Yeah. Well, I know Ginger Dead Man was a thing. Wasn't, uh, what's his nuts? Crazy guy. Um, the voice. I um, don't know. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Here's, you know, speaking of Ginger, Ginger Snaps. Have you guys seen that one? No. No. It's a damn good movie. Thanks, Killing. Damn good movie. I've seen. What was that? Thanksgiving Gary Busey. Movie? Gary Busey was in Ginger Dead Man. That's it. Oh my god! That's a crazy guy. That makes me not want to watch it. I forget what that. <laughs> what was the Thanksgiving one that we all went nuts? Thanks for? killing. Thanks killing. Thanks killing. That's right. Yeah, I've seen yeah. that one. No, uh, gobble. That one. one's fucking yeah. bitch. <laughs> nice. Just the, the. I still have that photo I took, or the the screen capture of. The turkey with the Groucho Marx glasses and mustache sitting at the table <laughs> yeah. where the guy dresses a turkey. That that movie great. was pretty amazing. It was phenomenal. Yeah. That's up there with it, Santa's sleigh. Like, the one with Goldberg? Yeah. Goldberg, yeah. 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 Movies that managed to actually be good despite being terrible. Despite everything much. about them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but all right, Halloween style music, special music that I don't want to give away, and Pappy and Ken and blah blah, and maybe Dale North next week. Maybe yeah. fingers crossed. He's penciled in. He's yeah, penciled in. Pencil. <laughs> Penis. Penis in. He's penised in. Final words. All right. Final words. I'm actually downloading stuff while talking to you, and I'm having no issues. Final words. He's jerking off. I love off. you. I guarantee he's jerking off. All right. So final words, I'm jerking off. Take it easy. <laughs> Are we done recording? Mm, no. God damn. Just fucking hit stop. You got- just do something already. Oh, I, my God. I, I thought I hit it. Oh, my God. Hit the stop button already.
Merry Christmas!